What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. In today's gaming news, Bloodborne is here and it's good. Pillars of Eternity launches tomorrow and Suspend Resume is finally coming to PS4. So after all of the talk and all of the hype, Bloodborne has finally arrived, and it appears like it's living up to it, at least from what we've seen so far. First of all, reviews across the board have been absolutely stellar, and then on top of that, my personal experience has been very, very good. Now we're just gonna get this out of the way. It plays exactly like Dark Souls. There's a few tweaks here, there's a renaming of things there, but overall, it's pretty much just Dark Souls with a new skin. With that said, the new skin I think is great. I love the gothic Victorian setting with werewolves and vampire looking things and Cthulhu creatures and stuff like that. The game is a little bit quicker, uh, at least to me it feels like it plays a little bit quicker than Dark Souls was in terms of you jostling around and engaging with enemies. And it's just a smooth, fun experience. Well, kind of smooth because there's two big hangups that I want to mention. First of all, it's the frame rate. It is not perfect. There are continuous dips, and this has been reported by numerous outlets, not just myself. It's just not smooth. It's not a steady frame rate, and that's it with it being locked at 30 FPS. The second major complaint is the load times. My goodness, they are ridiculous. Sometimes taking upwards of 40 seconds to load from one area into the other. And this problem is also reported with people who have an SSD on their PS4. So it's not even just specific to people with that base hard drive. Now those two things aside, the game is a lot of fun to play, and if you're looking for another Souls-like experience, this one appears to deliver from what I've played so far. Next up, the old-school-inspired isometric RPG Pillars of Eternity will be launching tomorrow. Dubbed as a spiritual successor to Infinity Engine games like Baldur's Gate and Icewind Dale, Pillars of Eternity is a new, old-school-styled RPG where you can control up to six companions, selecting from a variety of classes, including a fighter, rogue, wizard, monk, ranger, paladin, chanter, and more. Lots of different choices in this game and lots of RP to be had. I've been doing a playthrough this week and I'm just loving the fact that I can just nerd out and just pretend I'm this barbarian trying to save the day. It's just, it's a lot of fun. I've only played a couple of hours up until this point. But yeah, Pillars of Eternity coming out tomorrow. If you like isometric old school style RPGs like Baldur's Gate and Icewind Dale, this is going to be one to keep an eye on. And last up in news today, the PlayStation 4 is finally getting Suspend Resume. Firmware update 2.5 hits tomorrow and is set to include the long-awaited Suspend Resume feature that was originally promised back in 2013 when the console was unveiled. So you can essentially just put down your controller, what, no matter what you're doing in your game, put the PS4 in rest mode, go do something else, come back whenever, and pick up exactly where you left off rather than having to reboot the console and reboot the game and then load up a save. That's the idea. In fact, the Xbox One already has a feature that is pretty much exactly that. But once more, I'd like to point out the fact that this was a selling point. This was like one of their bullet point features to say, we're the PS4, we're doing all these awesome things. Plus, we've got this sweet feature that the Microsoft console isn't going to have. And again, Microsoft ended up having it before Sony PlayStation did. So it's just worth pointing out, and the reason I, I want to bring this up for discussion is because we can't put too much stock into these promises when people are trying to sell us stuff. And it did eventually come, but you know, it took quite some time. But again, uh, not to be all sour grapes about it, I'm happy that it's finally here, and once more, hopefully it works as advertised. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for today's episode of The Feed. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to comment in the comment section below about any of the topics discussed here today. Once again, this has been Force, and you have just been Force-fed. All right, you almost just got to kill this guy now. Right, I'll be back in five minutes. I'm gonna go get a drink of water. See you guys in a second. Are you serious? Are they still fighting? What the hell is going on? Am I doing this wrong?